afternoon or good evening. Whatever it is in your neck of the woods, I just hope it's a good one for you. Back at uh, Yankee Living here, Brad speaking. Uh, we're getting closer and closer. Uh, I just drilled the holes out of that. That's going to be a vent at the top, which is going to need to be wired in. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to cut that door out on the bottom yet, because when the new hens come in, it's going to be a while before I uh, take anything out of this as far as shavings go, because I normally use the uh, deep litter method. So, uh, And I'm pressed for time. It's uh, Thursday and Monday. I've got uh, hens coming, so uh, i got to get this finished up, and I want to get a, put a good coat of paint on in here. I know a lot of you guys, uh, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, uh, why do you even sheathe the inside and all that? But I'll tell you why. Uh, the less nooks and crannies and flatter your surfaces are, it's a lot easier to, to clean. And not only that, uh, it does uh, make an insulation factor, too. So uh, that works pretty good. So. Uh, anytime you have ledges and little pieces of this open and that open, you know how dust goes with chickens and it is just covered. That's all there is to it. I'll give you a rundown of what we got to do today. Like I say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut that out and wire it. Uh, we've still got this open over here. I haven't uh, done anything yet. I'm going to save that toward the last. Uh, I've been uh, leaving that open because I put the window over there. That's all installed already to be wired. And I just use that piece of plywood there to cover it up at night to keep that small coop uh, secure. Other than that, uh, I'm going to have to put some wire on that today. I'm going to wire these two windows here today, get those all wired up. And uh, I've got a temporary uh, ladder going out here. And I think I'm going to end up having to put a temporary ladder out in the other coop uh, going out the back clean out door so I can have two separate areas for them to come out into. And like I said before, I'm going to have to divide the yard in half and uh, wire it down through. And so each uh, set of birds has their own uh, outside. I'll split the underneath for protection uh, between them and the yard between them. And other than that, uh, that's pretty much it today. Uh, I'll uh, keep you posted and uh, bring you back every now and then. And maybe we can go out there and see what the yard birds are up to. Seems they've been... Uh, pretty lazy the last couple days so uh, we'll catch you guys a little bit later you guys have a good one all right we got one window all wired up all ready for the trim I don't know if you guys have uh, wherever you are in your neck of the woods out there if you have black flies but uh, this is black fly season here in central Maine and I want to tell you I think I've lost a quart of blood already today anyways uh, hey we're rolling this one out Crossed. I usually drive nails in and uh, at angles and uh, just roll the whole roll right out across. It's pretty stiff till I get to the end, tack it off, and then I start at one end and start driving the uh, the uh, staples in there and uh, sealing it off. Trim it as close to the window sill as possible, edges as possible. That way it doesn't push out on your trim. And uh, I'm going to throw some trim on that. As soon as I get that rolled out, we should be able to, uh, as you can see, I did cut that door out and uh, the vent above it and whatnot. But uh, I can always just throw a piece of plywood over the back side of that from the outside. Anyway, so we just brought you back for a few minutes to show you some updates. Uh, we'll catch you in a little bit. Here's a little tip on uh, putting up fencing and uh, uh, hardware cloth and poultry wire, any kind of things like that. Uh, use a pair of of needle nose. Uh, you can wrap on them pretty good. Uh, they go in nice and straight and it saves a lot of wear and tear on the fingers. Catch you in a bit. Alright guys, 30 minute lunch. Well, as you can see we got the uh, molding up on the inside of the double windows and they're all wired up that one's all wired up and molded and uh, we're just about ready for paint I usually paint right straight through everything I just slop on a coat of something light whatever is cheap or mismatched or whatever and after that dries and stuff any of the bigger gaps here and there I just buy some cheap painters caulk you know three for a dollar or dollar store stuff whatever it is I just cram it in there with a putty knife and uh, hit it here and there. Like I said, uh, as many nooks and crannies as you can keep out of your coop, 
you're going to have a lot less problems, a lot less places uh, critters can hide and, and whatnot. It's a lot easier to clean, a lot less dust and uh, whatnot. So, uh, anyways, uh, it's uh, late in the afternoon, early evening actually, and uh, hopefully this is uh, light enough so it's going to show up. Uh, we'll uh, catch you guys tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow is Saturday, and uh, well, as you know, Monday is uh, the new hens are coming, so uh, we got to get moving tomorrow. Get a lot done. Got kind of got rained out today, so. Anyways, this is Yankee Living. Brad speaking. We'll catch you all later. You guys have a great evening. All right, time has come. Excuse me. Do you think I can talk? All right, so you laid an egg. You didn't solve world hunger or peace or anything. Well, as you can see, we've got about, oh, not quite halfway cut on that bottom piece. It's not the easiest going, seems we're cutting through nails and sheathing and anything else that's in this path here. All right, not the easiest cut in the world to do there. Seems you're cutting through nails and sheathing and two-by-fours and everything like that. But uh, I read the plunge cut and uh, cut through a lot of that stuff. It saves a lot of wobbling and uh, banging around with a saber saw. Uh, not a saber saw, but a reciprocating saw, I should say. one piece. As you can see, when you're pressed for time, some things don't go exactly right. Well, I've got to just kind of rip her out of there. All right, you either help or get down, one or the other. Come on now. I got work to do. Let's go. All right, after running down a few batteries, uh, I decided to uh, bring the corded reciprocating saw down so I can get it done a little bit quicker. So uh, it's getting a little bit wider and wider up there, but uh, hey, we got a little bit more to go. We'll bring you back in a little bit for some more progress. All right, we're back for a second here. Uh, just want to show you a quick little glimpse of uh, the uh, total cutout. Uh, just a matter of putting it back together now, getting in the positions of the of the uh, studs and door and whatnot. So uh, we will catch you back and uh, give you the progress. All right, we basically got it framed up, header in, jacks in, all that. I've got to fit in a few pieces of wafer board. Uh, uh, maybe I got a few red sheets kicking around here. I can fit in around there. Uh, basically, the left side opening there. Uh, is going to be uh, just chicken wire or uh, fencing wire, whatever, whatever I've got laying around, and that will be permanent in there. And then the uh, the doorway there is going to be on on a frame and a swinging door like type thing. Uh, this way here, I can swing it all the way open to the left and attach it to the wall over there and uh, let the two coops and the birds intermingle. But while I uh, get this new flock comes in on uh, Monday. I'm going to leave them in the coop for a few days uh, just so they'll know where home is and all that and uh, get situated with egg laying and stuff. And uh, uh, so I'll keep that door shut for right now. And speaking of egg laying, yeah, the hole is still there. I've still got to get that built. We're late Saturday afternoon here and, uh, yeah, I'm running a little behind. But what's new? 
<laughs> All right, well, time is running out on me. I'm losing daylight fast. I got to get this mess picked up. I got the openings done. Door on the right uh, and just a see-through on the left. I uh, put it down with some uh, regular fencing wire uh, for right now, just temporarily, just so birds can't get out tonight. Uh, I'm just hoping all the predators around here uh, can't get through that, but unless it's a small little weasel. And I haven't seen any weasels around here in quite a while, so anyways, it's just for the night anyways, and uh, we'll catch you guys later. You guys have a great evening, uh, and as I always say, uh, wherever you are in your neck of the woods, uh, whether it be morning, noon, or night, I just hope it's a good one for you.